I will just start talking so we can go celebrate in God's house. Is it on? Okay. Hi. Hello. I'm Catherine Haggerty from New York, and I am here in St. Shema doing a residency with Look and Listen. And um, this is the work I've made uh, in three days. So I came here with wanting to make new work after a solo show, and I um, wanted to make four large paintings and um, also four small paintings. So, all of the work um, is uh, framed, in a way. Um, this sort of black frame that kind of zips around, this sort of bent frame, that is a, a sort of a drawing device that I think about to start, um, to start a painting. Um, and it comes from observation and also from a little bit of memory. So there's four characters that I've been focused on this week, and it's been um, a chair, a vase, um, a moon, and flowers. So all of those four have become characters in these relatively abstract paintings. Uh, I use spray paint, acrylic, chalk, Kind of anything that I could use. Um, so yeah, working this big and this fast for three days was really good because it didn't allow me to overthink anything and it didn't allow me to try to finesse anything to look a certain way or to have resolve and it just allowed me to make work um, fast and um, be efficient about the marks that I wanted and the colors that I wanted. Um, I'm the happiest, I think, with these two large ones. And um, over here, I also made several uh, small pieces for the week. So these four were very specific to this trip and to my traveling over here. So I wanted to isolate um, four subjects and um, a one system of making the work. Uh, the system, I suppose, being drawing as a frame and this sort of unknowable landscape that all of these subjects live in. Um, And these four actually were done today. And this was an isolation of color, shape, and form with, um, I think, a, an abstracted version of the subjects. So, it has been really fun and good. And just what I needed. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you why I did it, but... Yeah, so this is an installation I made today um, off of studio materials and um, found objects. So whenever I travel for residencies, I take sticks and pieces of wood from my runs in the woods and from just adventuring. And I use them as a painting device and also a painting subject. And so I've accumulated a lot of these over the years, and it's important for me also to experiment very simply with how I think of um, painting on forms, and also how I think of um, looking at looking at anything. So um, eventually, I think all of these sticks that I paint on and all of these objects will become an installation in and of itself, but for now, when I do residencies, I kind of just accrue a lot of them. And uh, it's also just good to have fun and experiment. Um, 
and these are spray paint and cardboard. This is my chopstick that I make a lot of engravings with. I carry that with me. So before I flew over here, I went through this notebook and took several uh, pieces of paper and very simply collaged them on before I flew. And I did this just as a way to give myself a visual prompt, something to work from, very simply, like two lines. Um, and so on the plane ride over here, I made a series of works that I wanted to focus on when I got here. So some of the larger works I've made here and the smaller works come from these drawings. Um, and as you can see, all the work is in a framing device like this. Um, it's a habit. I don't know how, to, how else to draw in a notebook at this point. Um, I always have to sort of make my own device to make the images in. It feels too strange to fill the whole page. So I think in a way that affects the way that the paintings end up. This one. I'm really excited about that one. So um, I often take notes as well about what I want, what I need in the work, what's missing what stands out.